Hi, everybody. Hope you'll join us tomorrow for the morning show. We'll be talking with Hugh Downs, and also Connie Francis will be here, too, with her theories on rape legislation. And we have a variety of how-to features for you, Regis, and Lee Wright with How to Dress a Man for $100, How to Introduce Your Newborn to Pets, <laughs> and Dr. Laura Singer with some tips on how to get your man to talk about emotional issues. And John Buchan will be here with his weekend preview, Doris McMillan, the news updates, and Virginia Graham, the entertainment news. All this tomorrow at 9 on Channel 7. Sissy Spacek tonight at 7.30. Um, excuse me, sir. Thank you for the uh, drink offer. Do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> well, no. You know, you do remind me a bit of someone I used to know when I was young and foolish. I... <laughs> Raven. The sky, yes, yes, the sky. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely color today. Oh, it's, it's just wonderful. You know, although it may rain a wee bit later on in the day, keep your voice down. Don't make a scene. Why don't you have a drink, my young lass? No. What is it that you're drinking? Um, a uh, planter's punch? Yes. A planter's punch. A planter's punch for the young lady, and uh, I'll have a scotch, yes, thank if you. Why don't much. you have a punch, Grandpa? Yes, well, perhaps that's not a bad idea at all. I'll, ha I'll have a punch myself. Right the way. Oh, you're a fine man, yes, thank you. So who do you think you are, and why are you in this ridiculous disguise? This ridiculous disguise is courtesy of the CEA. And you know what it feels like with this mask and this wig and this heat? It's like an oven in here. I'm itching to death. Well, I'm delighted to hear it. Thanks for all the sympathy. Since when do you deserve any sympathy? I'll tell you exactly why you don't deserve any sympathy. Valerie Bryson. Shh, Raven. Please keep your voice down. I am trying not to attract any attention. Well, you already attracted some attention at my wedding. And then you attracted some more attention this morning when I opened up the Monticello Star and saw your engagement picture in there. Happens to be one of the specialties of this hotel, to give you your local paper. Raven, look, I never in a million years thought Ian would make that announcement at your wedding. I mean, I wouldn't do that to you. How do you think I felt? We had a deal. I played my part. To save your neck, I did everything I was supposed to do. I married somebody else so that you wouldn't have to go to prison. And what thanks do I get for that? You publicly announced your engagement to Valerie Price. You just shut up and listen to me. What do you think I came all the way down here for in this ridiculous Barry Fitzgerald outfit here? But to tell you the truth, to talk to you without Ian getting suspicious. I don't want to hear your... Just story. shut up and listen to me. I am not engaged to Valerie Bryson. Oh, no, I, that looks just fine to me. Yes, indeed. Mmm. Oh. It's a good idea you had last. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. It's true. I did propose to Valerie. But it was all part of the CEA plan. She knows the truth now. She knows what's going on, and she knows that I love you. Boy, you sure know how to shovel it up, don't you? Look, I happen to know how devious Cameron is. So I know that he sent you here and then told you exactly what lies to tell so that you could get me to pump Ian on his activities. Well, I haven't. And I won't. <laughs> Edge of Night is brought to you by Pampers. America's mothers trust their babies to Pampers dryness. And by Gleam, the toothpaste made for adults. It fights cavities and adult bad breath. The assault. These are the enemies of the adult mouth.
And here's what they leave behind. The food, the film, the bacteria that can cause adult bad breath and cavities. And this is the adult strength toothpaste tough enough to clean up the adult mouth. Gleam. Gleam works three ways. First, Gleam helps strip away food and film with an exclusive cleaning formula. Then Gleam fights mouth odors with seven breath protectors. And Gleam helps protect against cavities with proven fluoride protection. So eat and drink like an adult, but protect your mouth with Gleam, the adult strength defense that fights the enemies of your mouth. Neither rain nor snow, nor clothes will keep me from delivering this remarkable new diaper, new fitted Pampers with Stay Dry Gathers. Pampers are fitted? Terrific. Now they help protect your baby from wetness right down to his toes. Pampers' new Stay Dry Gathers mean a drier baby on the outside. And they still have the cushion quilted lining? <laughs> yep, that helps keep baby dry on the inside. That's wetness protection right down to his toes. New fitted Pampers at a Pampers price. A Pampers price? Great. New fitted Pampers help protect your baby against wetness right down to his toes. I could use some wetness protection right now. Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll talk to him. Thanks. Hey, Brock, what's happening? Well, thanks. I'm glad to be back. Come in. What is that? Wait a minute, I don't know. I'll, I'll ask him. He just came in now. Stoner, did you talk to the landlady in that Wilson case? This is Brock. He says he'll talk to her if you haven't. Uh, no, I haven't yet, but I'm getting... Go ahead and talk to her. No, he seems to be busy with other things lately. As soon as possible, please. Yeah, you know, that's really funny. I was just about to go over there. Well, that's Chief. a funny thing. Harrison just called me this morning, too, and he says that file is very skimpy, and all your reports, they come in rather short. He needs all the details he can get. And I want you to give them to him before you go off duty today, all right? Yes, sir. All right, sit down. What do you want to say? Thanks. Uh, just one or two things about the North Fulton case, if you got a minute. Well, a minute is about all I have to spend on that case. And I don't want you spending any more time on that either. I'm beginning to think you're neglecting all your other cases because you're hung up on this Chief, one. I am not hung up on it. It's I have just told that... you before, and I will tell you again, that case has gone as far as we can take it. And look, the Kavanaugh's are friends of mine, too, but life has just got to go on. And the business of law enforcement has got to go on, yes, too. Yes, I know that. Well, then you must know I've got an entire department to run here, and I need your help on a lot of things. All right, lecture's over. What do you want to tell me? Okay, just a couple of things about the case in one minute. Go. Well, there are just a couple of doubts I have, Chief. A couple of things just keep wriggling around in the back of my mind. They won't well, let me rest. Not about Gunther Wagner, from his statement and from your... Your corroboration from the bus terminal, he's not our perpetrator. No, enough of Gunther Wagner. Something else came out of that seance. Oh, that, that seance. I don't want to hear about that seance. Tell me something. Just which one of those bozos thought up that idea it was, anyway? It was Cliff Nelson. Oh, Cliff Nelson. Okay, okay, Nelson. look, all right. It, it, was a, it was a crazy long shot of an idea, but he thought it was worth a try, and frankly, I did too. You did, huh? Your minute's running out. Okay, well... We didn't get out of the sands what we thought, but we did net something. I, I just want you to listen to this. It's the voice of, of uh, the she housekeeper, says, uh, Mrs. Goodman. She says you, Gunther Wagner, was the last That's Mrs. person Goodman. to yeah. see her alive on this earth, do you she's, remember? She's lying, she's dead, and she's still lying. No, look at me, look at me, Gunther Wagner. She remembers, she remembers the dark street and the dark. Oh, come on, what is this all? Just a minute, just hold on a second. No, it's a lie. No, she is not lying. Listen to me. It is the truth. You were there together in the cold wind. I saw you there. It's coming, here. Yeah. I saw a man and a woman. Wait, wait, no, wait. Shh, something, something is different here. What is it? Yes, no, there was a man. A man and a woman. The woman here it is. Was Long brown coat. Did she say a long brown coat? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. When we found Nora's body, that coat was not her. We found that coat later on. Exactly. And it was never made public. How'd she know about that coat? How'd she know the color of it? That's my question exactly, Chief. Coincidence, maybe? Was she missing? Maybe not. Certainly you don't think that the Kavanaugh's housekeeper is involved in this. 
Oh, come on. We've already had one case where the housekeeper did it, the Molly Sherwood case. Chief, history has been known to repeat itself before, and if it's motive you want to talk, I can do that real well. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Ah, uh, Madam Blatsky, I presume. Uh, yes, listen, please come in and make yourself comfortable. Um, the doc said to tell you that he'll be down in just a minute. But please excuse me, because i got a big project oh, going in the kitchen, okay? Sure, sure. Oh, uh, Miles. Well, listen, uh, Mrs. Goodman instructed me uh, not to uh, offer you a drink. Oh. She's going to come out of the kitchen in a couple of minutes with uh, one of her incomparable confections and some coffee, and she believes that alcohol ruins the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Since she runs everything and everybody in this house, I have no choice but to comply. Now, do you want a drink? No. Good, good. Is uh, Nicole around? No, she's not. She went out shopping. I guess she ought to be back in about an hour. But listen, I'm happy to have the chance to talk to you alone. Uh, yes, I know. You're going to tell me how disappointed you are that this Gunther Wagner business drew a blank. For one thing, yeah. Oh, I'm disappointed, too, Miles. I really believe we had our killer. So what's next? No, Cole's defense. we we, we got to go straight away to that. We have no time to be sidetracked. Well, I'm, I guess... See, you're making it sound so cut and dry. It is but, cut you know, and dry. Listen, if you would listen to reason, it wouldn't be that cut Miles, and I'm dry. I'm trying to politely... How many times do I have to tell you? How, how can I convince you that she didn't kill Nora? Nora was dead. She was lying on the floor of the studio when Nicole got there. Miles, I've thought about what you said. Okay, okay, now suppose that I put you on the stand, all right? So you can tell your story about how you believe it See, happened. Wait a minute, that's not good enough. Look, look, it would backfire on us, Miles. The prosecutor would stand up and say, this man is protecting Nicole. And the jury might think... Why does Nicole need protection? It would be That's very not bad. What I'm I'm, I'm I'm awful sorry. Excuse me for interrupting you, but I think this is going to be worth it. Uh, chocolate. Right. And when it comes to chocolate, I don't fool around. Uh, I believe you've made a miracle. Try that now. But she doesn't fool around when it comes to chocolate. <laughs> mm. This is paradise. Mm -hmm. The definitive chocolate cake. <laughs> Happy to hear it. <laughs> To the happy medium. Oh, I am never going to live that down. <laughs> oh, uh, I thought, I assume he knows. Oh, yeah, afraid so. I thought you were very good, and, and uh, I never really got a chance to thank you for being such a good sport. But I will now, <clears throat> Madame Blatsky. You are more than welcome, monsieur. <laughs> I'm only sorry it didn't have better results. Well, so am I. I just... Do you No, I'm right here. Yeah, hello. Hi, Miles. It's uh, Calvin. Hi, Calvin. How are you? I'm, I'm just fine. Look, uh, I'd like to come over to your house for a while, if it's okay. I'm, I'm talking about, like, right now. Well, sure, that's fine, but if you want to talk to Nicole, she's not here. No, it's... It's, it's not Nicole I want to see. Um, it's Mrs. Goodman I want to talk to. Yuck. It was ugly. I didn't want to show my wart to anybody. Beatrice had warts. Compound W got rid of them. It was right here. It was terrible. It was disgusting, really. I told my mother about it, and she looked at it. She bought Compound W. Use daily. Compound W dissolves warts away. Quickly, in just days. Prevents spreading, too. I think it would work, but then I tried it, and it worked. Compound W gets rid of warts. It made it disappear. It went away. Munching nuggets, dogs really love that taste. And with that combination of flavors, it's not just good, it's great. Dog chow brand dog food, they love that taste and how. It's, it's the great American dog food, Purina Dog Chow. It's the largest selling dog food, so treat your dog right now to the great American dog food, Purina Dog Chow. Raven, I am telling you the truth. Why can't you believe? Why can't you believe me? Because you have a history of deceit and lies, so why should I believe you? What do you think I would do? Go to all the trouble of coming down to this infernal island, get into this insufferable geriatric disguise if I wasn't telling you the truth. You know it takes three hours to get into this makeup? Did you and Cameron really expect me to fall for this? This is just one big elaborate lie. I mean, look what he went through for me. I pretended to kill someone for Ian's sake. 
So it would be nothing for Cameron to arrange this whole thing just to make it look like you and Val were just friends. Just friends, huh? Valerie will probably never speak to me again. I told you, she knows the truth. And so do Mike and Nancy Carr. This is really getting me... No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Would you believe me if you spoke to Nancy Carr and she told you the same thing? Nancy Carr wouldn't lie if she tried. All right. Oh, waiter! If you've got a moment, please, yes. Yes. I, I wonder if I might bother you for a telephone, you know? Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Now look, if you talk to Nancy, if you don't believe her, I'll pack my bags and I'll leave. Oh, uh, now, you're a fine man. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, just fine. Thank you. I'll try with the newspaper first. Operator, uh, I'd like long distance, please. Yes. I'm calling the United States. The area... Yes, I'd like to speak with Nancy Carr, please. It's urgent. Uh, can you tell me where she's having lunch? Well, do you know the number there, by any chance? Uh, yeah, yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. She's not in. She's not having lunch. I'll call her at this restaurant. Oh, my dear, I thank you very, very much for helping me with this darn foreign telephone here. You've been of a great assistance to me, and I appreciate it. I, I thank you to my dying day, yes, sir. Oh, don't You're you stay out in the sun too long, now. You know, the Caribbean sun is very hot. Yes, Hi. Well, my darling, I see you found a pleasant companion during my absence. No. Oh. I was just doing my good deed for the day, you know. <laughs> Poor old man. Just because I rode away for a free bar of safeguard doesn't mean everyone else can use it. Give me a break, Dad. One try and I was hooked in the lather. Anyway, it's a free bar. Yeah. Why should you be the only one who gets all that safeguard deodorant soap protection? I tried it. I liked it. I need it. And don't forget, the fresh scent. Well, what about these soaps you paid good money for? They just don't have that combination of rich lather and great protection like Safeguard does. Here, it's a little small. Better a small Safeguard than no Safeguard. See for free how great Safeguard is. Write free Safeguard, Post Office Box 8000, Clinton, Iowa, for a bat size bar coupon. Then watch Safeguard become the smallest soap in your house. How far does a mom have to go to see your kids clean? All the way to Dye Country! Where our toughest test of clean is below the age of 10 and the same clothes get dirty over and over again. My extraction kid needs an extraction tie. Kids can be tough, tough all around. Even Pink and Sweet has trouble keeping neat. So go ahead and splotch them, splash them, splatter them. Clean your spot. Tide gets it clean. Tide's America's favorite. From ice cream to mud, Tide'll tough clean it. You've just seen it. Now, here's your joy and pride. Same kids, same clothes, spanking clean with Tide. An extra action kid needs an extra action Tide. Tide country! Clean your spot. Tide gets it clean. Honey? Oh. Oh, hi, darling. Hi. Am I, uh, in time for dessert? Yeah. May I take your order? I think I'd just like a cup of coffee right now, thanks. Okay. Where's Valerie? She left. She, uh, knew I was joining you, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah, but it was really quite an ordeal to have to talk about what's been happening. Yeah, I feel so sorry for her. It's gonna take some time before she gets over this. She's absolutely crushed. Well, I don't think that we should uh, crowd her right now. She's going to have to find her own time for recovering without our smothering her with concern. I just hope she forgives us. I think she will. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you. I uh, would have been here sooner, but I was on the phone with um, David Cameron in Washington. You told him that she knows everything? Yes, and as I expected, uh, he didn't take it too kindly. I'm sure you're putting it lightly. Hmm. I am. He said he should have been informed before I told her the whole story. He's uh, quite upset at the moment. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. He thinks that uh, I've overstepped my authority. Darling, I don't care what he thinks. What you did was right. But to, to let it go on would have been cruel and vicious the way it was. I mean, as soon as Valerie found out the truth about Sky, she was entitled to know why he deceived her. Excuse me, Mrs. Clark. There's a long-distance phone call for you. You can take it over there. Thank you. Hello. Hi, it's Raven. Great. Hello, how are you? I'm a wreck. Uh, look, I'm going to have to talk fast. Ian just went up to the suite to change his clothes, but uh, I don't have much time. Skylar showed up today in this ridiculous disguise, and, and it was, it's just too wild to talk about right now, but he said that his engagement was with Valerie's off. Is that true? Yes. Yes, it is true, and she knows everything. It isn't exactly the way CEA wanted it to happen, but that's the way it worked out. You're kidding. So he was telling the truth? <laughs> That makes me so happy. I can't tell you that that made my day. Look, you tell Mike that Operation Devereaux is still on. And you also tell him that I'm going to get the truth out of Ian Devereaux if it's the last thing I do. Thanks, Miles. Cliff, how's it going? Oh, uh, not too well. Yeah, I guess it's the same for most of us. Mrs. Goodman? Oh, detective. Uh, would you maybe like some chocolate cake? Oh, uh, no, thank you. I, uh, just would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, well, uh, I tell you, I, I know what you're gonna ask me. Um, and just let me say right off that I'm really sorry about that seance. I mean, I figure it's a crime, right, to impersonate somebody and... <sighs> No, this really has uh, little to do with the seance, at least directly. Look, um, is there some place that Mrs. Goodman and I could talk privately? Oh, sure. Uh, no, I I'd rather not, if you don't mind. I'd really like Dr. Cavanaugh to stay with me, and also Mr. Nelson. Um, well, I mean, you never know when I might need a doctor or a lawyer, too. <laughs> well, I don't think it's going to be all that serious. As a matter of fact, it's a minor point. I'm just curious about something you said at the seance. Well, I was so nervous, I tell you, I can't remember anything I said, just not a word. Well, I, uh, I have a copy of the tape that Cliff made, so this may help you recall. What is it? Yes, no, there was a man. A man and a woman. The woman was wearing a long brown coat and... It's funny, I, I don't remember saying any of that. Calvin, what are you trying to do here? I'm just trying to figure out how Mrs. Goodman knew that Nora Fulton was wearing a brown coat on the night of the murder. It was never made public, and yet you stated quite clearly here on the tape. Well, I, I was making it all up as I went along. It looked like in show business, you know how they people ad-lib? I see. <clears throat> well, you don't look like you see. Take it easy. Well, I don't know, maybe there really was a ghost in there that night, and she was telling me what to don't say. Don't start talking nonsense. Well, all right, then, I don't know. I was just guessing. Why don't there are a lot of brown coats? Yes, there, there are. Uh, look, I just wanted to try and clear up my confusion. I'm sorry if I've upset you. Oh, you haven't upset me. Not upset. Not really. Is that all? Yes. Fine. I have some work to do in the kitchen. Search presents The Encounter. You never know when you're going to wind up face to face with someone. With Search, you're always ready. He's now with the press. Excuse me, so I'm... I missed him. Only Certs has a great taste plus a glistening drop of Retson and a fresh, clean flavor to get your breath fresh enough to go face to face. Now what? Dinner. I get the picture. Certs regular and sugar-free for breath that's face to face fresh. Grandpa, 
we won. That a boy. Hey, we really scored Grandma's homemade spaghetti sauce. Nope, it's Prego, a jar sauce. And we struck out. But Prego tastes homemade. Dad, does Prego have all that good stuff Mama puts in? It's in there, see? All natural. Lots of herbs and onions and, and garlic. Look, it's in there. But homemade taste? It's in there. 100% mm. natural Prego spaghetti sauce. Homemade taste. It's in there. It's a hit. Yeah. Mm. On General Hospital. How's that feel? That's wonderful. Relax. And now there are two men. I'm going to walk because I got somebody. And they both love Polly. I got somebody to walk back to. General Hospital. Hi. Hi. Well, my darling, you're looking a lot better. Well, I feel a lot better. I'm just finishing this drink that the old man gave me. I really didn't want it, but you know, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Well, that's a good sign. You know, it does my heart good to see the sparkle back in your eyes. You've been feeling a bit listless ever since we left Monticello. I was beginning to think you may have certain regrets. How can you say that? I just didn't feel very well. Besides, I, I was feeling a little sad because I know I haven't been a very good bride, but everything is going to be different. Our marriage is starting right now, over again, from this moment on. You know, you're wonderful. And I love you. I love you, too. And I, I, I'm sorry that I stopped you from talking about your business activities before, just when you were about to tell me everything. You know, I, I've been kind of difficult. I just want some attention, but I'm very interested. I want to know everything there is to know about you. Very well, then. I'll tell you everything. When you need a little lift, but you just can't take a break, chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. The cool, refreshing feeling of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum puts a little lift in everything you do. That good, smooth chewing, that crisp, clean taste, that Wrigley's Spearmint pickup is going for you. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum really keeps you humming. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum keeps you humming along. I know you're down there, Dirt. I know you're hiding in my carpet. I can't see you laughing at me, ruining the fibers, but you're there. Know what I got today? A Eureka ESP self-propelled vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Bye. A clean-looking carpet can hold more than its own weight in hidden dirt, but a Eureka ESP self-propelled upright gets hidden dirt with a touch of your fingers. You little stinker. Eureka gets dirt you can't see. Tonight at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, the Fall Guy turns New York upside down, looking for a thief who's a master of disguise. Then the Ryan's Four team face a life and death struggle to save a killer who murdered one of their friends. After tempers explode, when Blake and Crystal fight over Stephen's new job working for Alexis on Dynasty. Tonight on ABC. ABC's World News Tonight. Chicago and Philadelphia shaken by controversial campaigns for mayor. With charges of below-the-belt politicking, will issues lose out to emotion as black and white candidates clash head-on? ABC News, uniquely qualified to bring you the world. TV's more complicated. Local, network, cable, pay. To watch the best that's on, pick up the best. This week's TV Guide. TV Guide helps you decide. 
Good afternoon, I'm Ernie at Astis. Coming up today on the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News, Interior Secretary James Watt bans rock music at this year's 4th of July celebration in Washington. He says it just isn't wholesome. We'll have that story, and we'll have this. What's your name? Oh, when you find us, you know it's really strong in Idaho. 